Alrighty, hello guys, welcome me faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Flyout yet again, and today we're gonna try and build some sort of float plane. Now, I'm not entirely sure how this is gonna go, but let's go ahead and start building a bit of a fuselage, and then we'll go ahead and build some floats, and we'll see if it does actually work. Let's go ahead and get on with it. Okay, so starting out how we normally start out then, let's go to fuselage, there we go, we'll go down to the actual fuselage, uh, and we're gonna go with procedural fuselage 32. Uh, because I think that will actually be enough for us. I don't think we need 64 anyway, so I think this will work. Uh, one thing that I do want to do is actually make this into an oblong. If we go ahead and click paste, that will actually do it straight away. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing right there, and that is actually pretty good. We're then going to go ahead and knock this down to 0.6 wide. There we go. It's also going to be 0.6 tall. Actually, you know what? Let's go with 0.7. There we go. Nice. And we're going to do the same thing at the back. 0.6. Do, 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 do. And 0.7. There we go. All right, awesome. So this is going to be the shape of our fuselage. Uh, it is going to be a little bit strange, but hopefully it will work out. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and put this around the pilot, and then we'll go from there. Here we go. So if we go ahead and extend this from here, extrude uh, out to there, that's good. If we go ahead and extrude this piece as well, we can actually bring this backwards to there. All right, good. Yeah. So essentially the reason I'm doing that is because I want to open up the gap around the pilot, uh, just so that we can actually see inside. So if we go to hole, we can actually make this into a hole, uh, and that is pretty good. Uh, one thing that I would love to do as well is actually make sure that that is a hole and not glass. Uh, but I'm not sure why it looks like there is actually glass there. You know, that doesn't look like a hole to me. Not sure what's going on. Yeah. Okay, so now that that's done, let's go ahead and go backwards a little bit more, I think. Uh, so let's go and extend this out here. There we go, and I think from pretty much right here, we're going to go ahead and make this relatively small. So instead of 0.7, we're going to go down to 0.4. And instead of 0.6, we're going to go down to 0.3. There we go. Let's send this backwards quite far. Send it upwards just like this. And honestly, I think that's pretty good there. All right, nice. Yeah, not too bad at all. In fact, let's go ahead and make it a little bit skinnier down to 0.2. Excellent. What does that look like? Yeah, I mean, it's a bit weird. It doesn't gradually go up. It actually just goes up. Um, but yeah, that's not bad. Okay, so now it's time for the front end, so let's go ahead and extrude this forwards a little bit more, there we go. Uh, obviously the engine is going to have to go within this, so we're going to make it slightly smaller. It's going to go down to 0.5 uh, in terms of width, and height is going to go down to 0.5 also. Actually, that might be a little bit too much. 0.6, there we go. Uh, so yeah, it's going to look like that. It is going to angle upwards slightly, as you guys can see on the bottom. But honestly, I think that looks pretty good. Yeah. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's go to the front end. We're going to extrude this again, bring it forward slightly, and make it tiny bit smaller. So 0.55, and this one 0.45. There we go. Extrude it again, make it even smaller, 0.5. There we go. And 0.4. Excellent. And then we're going to extrude it again, and we're just going to go ahead and send it backwards, just like this. There we go. So that can actually get sent pretty much all the way to the pilot. There we go. We're then going to extrude it again and make it zero on one of those. There we go. Excellent. So that is the front end. That is where the uh, engine is going to go, of course. Uh, we're going to have wings on this thing because it's a plane and hopefully it'll work out. Okay, so I think what we'll do from here is do a bit of a time lapse, snazzying this thing up a little bit more, uh, and then we should be able to go from there. We'll then add the wings, we'll add some engines, we'll add the propellers, and hopefully this will work out. We break up and you slam the door I messed up on the bedroom floor What the hell do we do this for? I push you out, but you come back That attraction, we can't fight that Keep telling myself that I should let go But I hold on And oh Keep telling myself that I should move on But I don't Cause we got that mad love We got that sad love We got that fun love We got that young love Yeah, that dumb love We got that mad 
Okay, so this is where we are at. Obviously, I've added this around the outside. I don't know why that's painted red. I'm not sure what's going on there, but it should be fine. Uh, and essentially, I've put the pilot in here. We've added a little buffer around the outside, because that's usually like a leather, a soft leather, I think. Uh, and hopefully that'll actually work out for us. It does look pretty good so far, so I'm okay with that. What we're going to do now is work on the tail. So let's go ahead and see if we can add something nice. Uh, whether this will work or not, I'm not so sure, but let's try. So it's central right now. There we go. Let's go ahead and flip this up so that it is 90 degrees. There we go. Uh, we're then going to have no push rods, and we're going to do a trailing edge and a leading edge. Yep, that makes sense to us. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and lower this down into there to around this point. Okay, so that might be a little bit weird uh, to see, to be fair, but hopefully it'll work out for us. In fact, actually, we're going to lower it even further down to there. Again, that might be a little bit weird to see, but don't worry about it too much. We'll hopefully come up with something nice here. So grab these guys, drag these down to about there. We're going to drag this one and this one inwards, if we can, just like this. We're then going to send this one upwards like this. There we go. Uh, and so far, that is looking A-OK. -okay. All right, cool. Grab each of these and drop it down a little bit more. There we go. Fantastic. And we're going to start this one coming backwards. Yeah. Might look a little bit weird to begin with, but don't worry. So we're now splitting it, and we're going to go ahead and continue. Here we go. So this guy uh, goes upwards from there. There we go. We're going to go up quite a bit from this one. We're going to send this bit on the front backwards actually quite a bit. There we go. All right. Awesome. Uh, what we could actually do is actually send this up quite far, but uh, or even backwards. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and leave that like that. Not the best way of doing it, but it's fine. All right, grab this bit and bring it forwards. That's okay. And we're going to essentially keep it going upwards. What I also want to do is make it a lot skinnier than it currently is, because it's quite a chunk so far. There we go. Make it quite skinny. There we go. All right, cool. So um, let's go ahead and cut this again somewhere around there. We'll go ahead and click on it. We will open the wing editor again, and we're going to go ahead and try and drag this backwards as much as possible. There we go, and then bring this one inwards. Excellent. Whether that's good or bad or ugly, I'm not entirely sure, but... I mean, I feel like it's kind of ugly, to be fair. All right, let's grab these two and do this. Okay, I'm going to grab this one at the back, and I'm going to push that forwards. And yeah, it's kind of round, but also it's massive. <laughs> <laughs> this tail fin is huge! Alright, there we go. Grab each of these and send that bit backwards a lot. There we go. And then I actually think it's just a little bit too tall. So grab each of these again and bring it down. There, that looks pretty good to me. Yeah, I think that's going to be okay, actually. It's not massive and it's not tiny. So I think that'll do. Okay, so what we're going to do from there is actually add some push rods because I actually want it to look kind of nice from here. There we go, just on this piece. Um, and this bit, this bit, and this bit are all going to be part of the yaw. So, in fact, let's go ahead and add that now. Yaw, 50. There we go. Add another one. Yaw. We're going to go 50 again, of course. There we go. And this one, also yaw. And also 50. There we go. Excellent. Now what we're going to do is grab this and hopefully put it on both sides. There we go. What in the world is going on there? That doesn't look like it copied right. Uh, I didn't want to copy the material, I wanted to copy the entire thing. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. That is not it. That is definitely not it. Okay, we're going to have to come up with some new wings for the sides, but that's okay. Alright, so we got the wings right here, let's go ahead and open these up. We're going to drag these guys uh, forwards a tiny bit, there we go. We're obviously going to drag these guys backwards a lot, and it's also going to be a lot skinnier than this. So drop that all the way down to there. In fact, we want to grab all of it and drop it all down. And then I'm going to push this one into about there. Sick. That's good. All right. So leading edge, trailing edge. Fantastic so far. That's good. Uh, we're then going to go ahead and go to the front end of this and bring that bit backwards a little bit. Uh, in fact, go ahead and bring this bit backwards a little bit too. Excellent. We're going to drag this guy sideways because I want it to be sort of open there. Uh, and that isn't looking terrible. However, I do think it's a little bit big still. So I'm going to bring it backwards even further. I'm then going to pick it up, and we're actually going to go ahead and put it at the base of the tail. Um, kind of like this. There we go. It's going to go there. Although, should we move it upwards? Let's move it. What the hell? All right. Let's go ahead and put it there instead. 
Yes, it might look weird, but at the same time, uh, I think it'll look good. There we go. Attach this one onto here. We're then going to send this guy out a little bit more, obviously. And then hopefully we can shape it so it looks nicer. There we go. So try and keep the same sort of curve going on on the front. And then the back, we're going to go ahead and do this. And then I think I'll leave it actually a lot like that. The last one that we're going to do is cut this. There we go. I'm going to send it out a tiny bit. If I can. Here we go. Just a tiny bit. And then we're going to squidge it. So this guy is going to come in. Uh, quite a lot. This guy is going to come backwards. Actually quite a lot too. Including this guy. And I think we'll leave it like that. So those are going to be our uh, pitch. That's good. I think that for the tail end actually looks really nice. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is obviously put on some uh, wings. So I'm going to go ahead and count the squares in terms of how big this thing is. So one square, two square, three square, four square, uh, five square, six square, pretty much seven squares. So what we need to do is go out three and a half squares on each side, essentially anyway. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. There we go. Do this as well. Excellent. So far, that actually doesn't look too bad. Good. Let's drag this backwards to there ish that seems pretty good and we're going to drag this forwards to around here there we go i think that's about the right size anyway so i said three and a half so let's just count three blocks from here so one two three send that out all the way to pretty much there i think that's how big it should really be not bad not bad at all all right grab this guy and send it this way i'm actually gonna grab these two and do this uh, and then we're going to grab all of these and send it all backwards a little bit. There we go. Okay, cool. Uh, another thing that I want to do as well is actually grab this guy and this guy and shrink those a little bit. I'm then going to grab this one and this one and shrink these a little bit. And then I think I'll just do that with there. Okay. So pretty flat wings, yes. However, I think they're going to work out. Okay, so one thing that I do want to do with the bottom wings is... I want to angle them up a few degrees, probably only like four-ish degrees, maybe even three degrees. Nah, four. Let's go four. There we go. Four degrees. And I think that'll be pretty perfect for me. Yeah, not bad at all. Right. So next thing, we are going to cut the wing somewhere around here. We're then going to cut the wing again somewhere around here. And we're going to try and round them off. Yeah. So this guy... And this guy, going to come backwards, obviously. This guy and this guy are going to come forwards. Because we're trying to round it, of course. We're going to drop this guy down. Drop this guy down a little bit too. Excellent. We're then going to try these guys. Don't know how this is going to go. So let's grab this one and this one. And do this a little bit. And then I don't know what we should do here. Maybe drag each of these backwards this way a little bit. Because that definitely rounds off the wing a little bit. We're then going to grab these two and these ones right here and do this. And then I think it'll probably look nice if we leave it like that. Oh, that looks a bit weird because this one's wonky. So if we put that to there, there we go. I might actually drag this back into there as well. And another thing I wouldn't mind doing is cutting this right here and grabbing this piece uh, around maybe even both of these. And doing something like this into the body of the plane. Yeah, I mean, it's a bit odd. It is a bit weird. Um, but I don't know what else to do. Maybe even we do this. Hey, there we go. That doesn't look terrible. Yeah, that's not too bad. I, I do think the wings should maybe be skinnier. So I might do that a little bit. Try and make it a little bit skinnier. Uh, and then hopefully it'll look good when we do that. Um, so grab each of these and do this. We're then going to grab all of the front ones and drag them all backwards to there. Yeah, I think that's a lot better. But then I think maybe the wing needs to go forwards. Yeah, there's a lot of like random stuff that you sort of, I don't know, don't do or you don't see until you've got it finished. But uh, I think that's not terrible. So we'll keep it. All right, so what I'm doing now is actually adding the roll axis to these guys because, you know, we might as well do it as we go. So minus 50 on those ones. And then over here, it is going to be roll again. But on this side, it is going to be positive 50 because it needs to be the opposite. There we go. 50 and 50. Excellent. And then I don't know whether we need flaps. I kind of don't want to add flaps. But um, 
Maybe we could. I'm not sure. Anyway, the top wings are going to be slightly longer than the bottom ones. Okay, so this is where we are currently at. Obviously, we have ourselves a biplane. Um, it is not a sea biplane just yet, but uh, that is that is what it wants to be. I did not mean to just pick that piece up, so let's go ahead and put that back really quickly. There we go, drop that back to where it was, pretty much, and that's good. So yeah, we've got the wing on the top, we've got the wing on the bottom. Uh, the wing on the top is slightly wider, I believe, than the wing on the bottom, which is awesome. Um, and yeah, it's not terrible. It isn't fitting together quite as well as I want it to. So let's go ahead and try and like do that slightly. Let's just do this until it merges. And there we go. All right, awesome. So I still believe it's a little bit bigger, uh, which is quite nice. It is slightly in front of the one below it as well. Uh, and that is not terrible. Not terrible at all. Cool. So what do we need now? Well, we probably need an engine. So maybe we should work on that next? I don't know. I kind of don't want to. All right, it's engine time. Here we go. So let's go to power. Yes, we need to go to piston engine. Yep. Uh, and, you know, I don't know which one to go for. Uh, it's been a long time since I've actually made a piston engine in this game. So this is going to be kind of tricky to me, but let's go ahead and try and figure it out. So I'm actually thinking a V8 might actually be really cool. Um, obviously, a radial engine would also make sense. Um, but because I've made this an oval rather than a circle, I think a, v a V8 makes sense too. Uh, rows is fine. Bore, so if we click on this, you don't even have to click on it. If you hover over it, diameter of the cylinder increases displacement. Power available, um, valve area, and airflow. So the bigger it is, the more power we have. The stroke. So the length of the piston stroke increases displacement and low end torque. Decreases maximum engine RPM. So the longer it is, the less RPM we'll have. Honestly, this is already working out quite nicely. But let's drop this down to like 125. Okay, and we're going to drop this down quite a lot too. To something like 150. And then what if instead of having two v uh, one V8, we have two. So we copy this. Uh, we put it directly in the center. All right, somewhat like this. We then flip it over. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, this is not amazing because my mouse isn't even on the screen anymore. But yep, yeah, we flip it all the way over like that. I don't know why I did it this way around. Don't ask. No idea. Let's do 45 degrees. Oh my goodness. So there we go. Awesome. And then we just go ahead and shove it into the right place, which it might already be in. Is it? Pretty much. In fact, let's go ahead and merge both engines together. That's pretty awesome. We'll have an air intake sort of thing at the bottom. And honestly, to me, that looks pretty good. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is actually add a gearbox uh, in front of this. So let's go ahead and do something like this. There we go. Uh, we're then going to make this smaller. There we go, just like that. And we're going to go ahead and drag it out to the front. Is that a good idea? Probably not, but yeah, let's go ahead and do this to there, and then we should be able to put the propeller on that, I guess. So let's go ahead and add a propeller. Um, although before that, let's make sure both engines go into this. So piston engine and piston engine. There you go, so two inputs. Excellent. Cool. So, uh, propeller, here we go. Let's go to actual propeller. Excellent. And we'll shove it directly onto there like this. 
That's not bad. Yeah. Uh, now, I'm not very good at scaling these or making them look right, but hopefully we can. Blade count is only going to be two because it's a prop plane, because it's a biplane, I should say. Uh, and we're going to raise this up to 130. I think that's pretty good. Maybe it needs to be a bit bigger. I don't know. 150. That's max size. Sure, why not? All right, so before we actually turn this into something that works on the water, I guess we should try and make it work on uh, the land, I guess? Uh, I don't know how I'm supposed to get underneath this to do the wheels, but here we are. We are underneath. So let's go ahead and just smack some wheels on this for now, uh, and then we'll add the pontoons later, I guess. So landing gear, let's just go with... Obviously, we need two. There we go. Let's just do these guys right here. Awesome. And then we need one at the back, which is just going to be a wheel. Uh, and honestly, I think that's good enough. However, what we'll do is make the real radius really big, just so that it works. Okay, fantastic. Uh, do we have any fuel? I guess the fuel will go in the lower wing, because that's where I want it to go. There we go. So fuel tank, excellent. It's not going to be jet fuel. It is going to be uh, avgas, I think. Sure, we'll go with that. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and see if the uh, engine will actually run. I'm not going to lie to you guys, it tipped over straight away. Uh, in order to stop that from happening, I'm just going to do this. I know that's not right, but let's go. So this time when we spawn in, hopefully the engine still works, and uh, maybe the prop will spin. Let's see. We then need to work on how the prop works, but don't worry about that just yet. So there you go, this is what we've got. This is all minus, so this isn't actually working out. Um, the gearbox is zero. So yeah, we're not actually moving. I can't seem to click on the engines, but we can do that at the bottom. So we click on that and that, there we go. So the engines are good, they're producing... I can't even tell. Minus... Wait, why is that minus? Okay, it's been a while since I've actually messed with this stuff. Oh my goodness. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is you can actually see right here, this is 25. This is, um, I'm sorry, minus 25. Oh, now it's minus 30. So we're going to plus 30 onto there. We're going to plus 15 onto here. And we're going to plus 10 onto the last one. Plus 30, plus 10. No, plus, plus 30, plus 15, plus 10. Okay. So let's go back. We go to this. We go with plus 30, plus 15, plus 10. There we go. So now we've got a bit of a prop twist. Okay, cool. We are going to go to this guy, and we are going to um, scale it down slightly. There we go. Um, and hopefully that works out. I'm assuming it will, but I don't know. Power source, gearbox. Okay, go. Okay, so the prop is working, as you guys can see. Uh, it is actually pulling us forwards now, which is awesome. Uh, I would say that it is working. However, we aren't getting very much power out of these engines. They are really not working out for us, are they? So, we need to mess around with the gearbox to hopefully allow that to work a little bit better. And then maybe we can actually get into the sky. Alright, so in the gearbox, we're going to bring this down to like 1.2... I guess that's fine. It's only got one gear, so that's weird, but fine. Uh, in here, we're going to add a turbocharger, because uh, why the heck not? There we go. And the mixture, I can't remember how this works, but uh, controls air fuel ratio. Slightly rich mixture, low value, increases power and decreases the odds of pre ignition. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and. Wait, is that a low value? We're going to go ahead and drop this down to like. Nine, there we go, that seems good. Um, and hopefully that'll be fine. We can add a flywheel, but I'm not going to. All right, cool, so let's see what happens here, whether this will work or whether it won't, we will see. Also, compression ratio, we can change this too. So, uh, a high compression ratio increases engine power and efficiency, but it may lead to pre-ignition. Okay, so we're gonna increase this to like 11. Sure, let's see, oh, are these the same? I don't know whether they'll be the same. We need to have the exact same uh, values on each of these. Otherwise, uh, it's going to be weird. It's going to be real weird. All right, cool. Is that everything? Actually, no. We changed the mixture to, to 0.99999. Oh, sorry, 9999999. There we go. Awesome. Uh, and I think that's it. All right, let's see what happens now. Save. Go. 
Okay, here we go. So, I feel like the engines are doing a lot more this time. I want to increase the size of this propeller, to be honest. I do want to do that. And yeah, there's a lot of power coming out of those engines now, which is awesome. Yeah, I want this propeller to be bigger. Also, you can see right here, these values are way too high. If you look at the alpha, you want this to be around 8 on each of these. So, we're actually going to go ahead and drop it by... 70... What is it at the minute? It's 30, isn't it? So, we're going to go ahead and... In fact, let's start with zero, now that we've changed the engines completely. Um, and hopefully that'll be okay. So, go back to this. We're going to go with zero, zero, zero. Uh, and what we're going to do as well is make this really big. So, blade length is already massive. We're going to make this 1.2. Because it needs to be quite large, considering how big this thing is. Blade cord is actually going to come down a lot, though, down to 0.7. Alright, that looks good to me. Let's go ahead and try and go again, and then we'll figure out the values, and then hopefully we can fly. Alright, here we go. Yes, it looks like it is going quite good. The Max Mac is actually not terrible. Our yaw is inverted, and we just fell over. Let's uh, fix our yaw first. So your needs a minus number in front of it. Here we go. Minus 50. We're going to go with this one, obviously. Minus 50. And the bottom one. Again, minus 50. Okay, is it now going to work out? Let's see. I do feel like we are going to get pulled to the side, because, you know, that does happen in this game. But we will see. I mean, it happens in real life, too. It's talk. But, you know. Let's see what happens here. Okay. So we're throttling up. We are going off to the side like we did last time. Okay, I'm just going to allow it. And then we're going to try and lift off, which I don't actually have any pitch right now. <laughs> so that's not going to work out, is it? I've got no pitch. However, it does totally work, so I'm actually happy with that. Let's go to this, and we will add some pitch. And then we should be good to actually, like, go. This is great. Uh, pitch again. Yes, 50. Excellent, do the same on the other side, pitch, okay, 50, yep, and pitch, 50. I think this will honestly uh, actually take off, which is amazing. I uh, don't know what's going on there, we've got two wheels pointing sideways, but whatever. Let's go. Here we go, guys! So we do actually have pitch now. Uh, I don't feel like the control surfaces there are actually big enough, to be totally honest with you. I don't think they are, but let's see what happens. Let's try and lift off into the sky. Yeah, okay, we are flying. We've got a little bit of roll going on, but that's fine. And we are in the sky. Excellent! Yes! Okay, fantastic. I think I want to make the uh, the wing on the top a little bit longer. But other than that, it's looking pretty good. In fact, both wings are probably going to be a little bit longer. And I might make the body a little bit skinnier towards the back. But honestly, this is working out. Amazing. Okay, so let's go ahead and delete these guys. There we go, because we know it works. Uh, I didn't actually modify the propeller or anything like that, whereas I probably should have. Uh, but yeah, get rid of these guys too. Excellent. And yeah, I mean, I guess let's just go ahead and make the wings a little bit longer. So we're going to grab it from here. We'll make the longest stretch of it longer, because then you don't modify it too much. You know, if you're only doing the longest stretch first, it should be good. All right, here we go. Nice. A little bit longer, just like that. And then I believe the lower one should maybe be a little bit skinnier. And also a tiny bit longer as well. Don't know how that's going to go, but let's do it. So, do this. It's a little bit skinnier. And, yeah, maybe a tiny touch longer. So, grab each of these. There we go. Awesome. And these guys as well, obviously. Drag it outwards a tiny bit. And I think that's about right, yeah. Top wing's a little bit longer than the bottom. They both have a bit of an angle, a bit of a dihedral. So it should be a little bit nicer to fly. And yeah, that's not bad. Okay, so how do you make something like this actually float? Uh, that is something that I don't really know. Uh, I have no idea. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy one of these. Here we go, so copy this. I think I might have accidentally copied like everything there. Let's go ahead and put that there for now. We need to sort out our camera. It keeps doing some weird stuff, but that's fine. We're going to obviously delete the wing on the top. We do not need this. And is this guy actually at an angle? 
I guess he is. Alright, cool. Well, it doesn't matter. So, we're going to bring this to the underside, and we're going to need some actual... I don't know. We're going to need some floaties on here, aren't we? So, this is going to be an interesting situation. Can I drop that down a little bit? Yes, we can. And we're going to have to sort of build it all from underneath. Because that's how this game works. But yeah, let's go ahead and do that. That's good. We'll then modify it slightly. And we'll drag this guy forwards. So it's actually angled. Good. And then we're going to grab it again. Actually, can I like control it on here? This might be a good idea. Yeah? No? I don't know. I don't want it to clip to anything. Yeah, so this isn't really working the way that I want it to. I've just accidentally opened up GeForce Experience. What's going on? Alright, hang on. So, attach that onto there again. We will drag it through the floor. And we'll drag it this way. Okay, awesome. That's fine. And then we need the another one of these, essentially, to go on the back. So, let's go ahead and put this here. Drop this down also. Cool. Drag it forwards to about there. I guess. And then we have two. Sure. Sure. That might be a bit weird. But yes, that looks like it's sort of correct. Uh, they're going to have to be a lot longer than that because of the way this works. But yeah, let's do it. So, open this up. And drop this down a lot. Let's go with 45. Excellent. Cool. We're then going to go to this guy, and we're going to do the same thing. So, 0.45. You can see it in the top in the middle. There you go. And that looks like it's going to be pretty sick. There are different angles, but I don't mind that. Uh, as long as we can get a floaty down there, this should work. Also, I'm going to do what I said earlier. Uh, I'm going to go to the back end right here, and we're going to make it slightly smaller. 0.1. There you go. So, it's a lot skinnier from there. Uh, and I feel like that just makes sense. I'm also going to bring this guy backwards a little bit too. And we're going to make that 0.5. And that should be a little bit skinnier as well. Yeah, and I do think that looks better now that we've done that. Awesome. I think we're doing a pretty good job with this. Okay, so let's go to fuselage. There we go. We'll go straight to... In fact, should we just do it with some, like, spheres? I think they could look really weird. But let's go ahead and see. So put them there. Okay, they are just balls for now. We're going to remove anything from inside of them. There you go, full amount zero. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and stretch it. And we'll see what that looks like. It could look really ugly and really odd, but it could look okay. All right, there we go. So they look... They look slightly confused, obviously, but not terrible. Which is what I was sort of expecting it to look like. But yeah, if we had those as like little floaties, do we reckon that would fly? I'm not sure. I'm also thinking about the propeller actually hitting one of these. So I'm going to try and lower it down a little bit. Obviously, I still want it to be attached. Which we can have if we drop it down to there. I don't think that's too bad. I think we can probably leave it like that. So, in order to actually get to the water then, we're going to need some actual wheels on the side of this to get going to begin with. So let's go ahead and attach that to there. We are going to make the wheel radius huge. There we go. And we're going to shove it off to the side. Not really how I would want to do this, but it's how we're going to try. So shove that to there. We're then going to copy two more, and we're going to shove those at the back. Yeah, again, not what I want, but it's how we're going to try it. Or we could actually just put them inside. I think that might work too. So if we put that in the middle there, drop it down a little bit. Uh, bring this over to pretty much the center too, and drop that down a little bit too. Hey, would that work? I don't know if that's going to work. No way that'll work. Okay, anyway, our main goal is actually to get it to the water anyway, so let's make sure we do. Um, save it, as is, spawn it in, let's go. Hey, would you look at that? Alright, nice. Uh, let's go to this guy real quick. They're all in their 20s, which isn't amazing, and we have tipped over... Oh, okay, right, hang on. Restart flight. We will be able to take off here. Oh, wait! We need to make our pitch axis bigger. We need those control surfaces to be way bigger, because they are too small at the minute. Return to hangar, yes. Go backwards to here. Yeah, they're tiny. Grab this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. Oh, I can't seem to... Oh, there we go. 
Grab those, bring those forwards like this. And yeah, they're huge now, so that's good. Hopefully that'll work better. Save, go. Here we go again. Come on, this time we got this. Alright, cool. So try and make sure we don't roll over again. Never mind. We've totally rolled over and we've lost. Oh. Oh, this is annoying. Yeah, we keep rolling over. We've lost a wing. In fact, we've lost half of two of our wings. And we can't take off because our engine is over revving. Okay, let's add 15 to the M and add 15 to the T. All right, let's try that and then we'll, we'll go from there. So 15 to this one and 15... Oh, not 151. Jeez, 15 to this one. We need this to be a little bit more stable on the ground, don't we? It'd be nice if we could steer these wheels. Unfortunately, we can't. We can't steer these ones. I'm actually just going to shove it out to the side for now. Same with this one. Hopefully, with them being a little bit further out, it'll work a little bit better. Or, we actually just get rid of this. We bring these guys to pretty much the center. Like that. And we have those be our wheels. Not sure this is going to work, but I feel like it's not that dissimilar to real life. Or the way you could put wheels in real life, I suppose. Let's see what happens. Yeah, so it's going to... What the balls? I'm going to retry the flight and see if that does the same thing, but it, I don't think it should explode. There's no fuel in them or anything. Oh, that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Hmm, okay. Uh, wheel width. Sure, make that a lot skinnier. Wheel radius. We'll actually make that smaller too. And just so that it doesn't, like, actually, like, plow into the ground, we're going to go ahead and make it smaller. All right, here we go. Let's see what this one does. Come on. You got this. Hey, you didn't plow into the ground. Full throttle. Let's go. Bums. <laughs> Bum, big bums. All right, we don't want it to tip over, so let's bring them to the front. Go again. Maybe, after all, we do need the flaps. Oh, maybe, after, maybe, yep. Oh, Jesus. Just explodes that time. Okay. Ah, this is annoying. Um, if I, if I did have flaps, this is actually connected to this, rather than connected to the wing. So, this would move with it, which is really dumb. However, we could have flaps up here, which might work, but at the same time... I don't know. 15 and 15. Let's see what this does. All right, here we go. Uh, flaps. Okay. I don't know how flaps work, but they do appear to be working there. I think we want the lower ones to actually do it, but never mind. This is really, really frustrating, the fact that this is like this. Um, but it is. So, yeah, let's go ahead and put that there. Go to land gear, this one. And put it right there. We're obviously going to have to make this really tiny. So let's do that. There we go. Uh, we'll have this lower down slightly, but we'll also push it forwards quite far. And can I have each of these actually steer? That would be really good. Add a response, your. And that would be 15. Add a response, your. This would be the same. Okay. Is that gonna work? Who knows? Let's try again. So this is gonna be steering on the wheels down there. Uh, they're also gonna stop the fuel tanks, the spheres, from touching the ground. Which, honestly, in my mind, makes sense. Do they steer? They don't steer. They don't steer. So we're in the same situation again. 
Alright, I'm dropping the flaps down. We're using our yaw to... Oh? Okay, right, 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 right. We're gonna have to be a skilled pilot here to actually take off. Uh, which I am not. But we got this. Sorry that there's loads of testing going on here, but in this game it sort of makes sense to do loads of testing. Um, yeah. I think the plane itself, though, actually doesn't look too bad. Also, side note, I don't know where the ocean is. Or any water, for that matter. Okay, we were in the air for a second there. We are flying. We are indeed flying. Okay, right. So, we can get it into the sky. I actually just need to get it to some water now. And unfortunately, we've spawned in a desert. And I don't know if there's any water nearby. <laughs> oh, yikes. Yikes, indeed. All right. So, there it is. Uh, I mean, it's working. It is flying. It looks sort of okay, I suppose. Um, I would like it without the landing gear, of course. Um, and just wheels. And also it needs a bunch more details. So I need some struts from this wing down to this wing. Uh, and some struts across from here probably, like cross braces, that would be pretty good. Uh, and then maybe even a brace across from the front to the back. Something like that would be pretty cool. But um, yeah, it's actually working out, which is awesome. Uh, and I think I'm going to end this video here for now. If you guys want to see the extra details and stuff added to this thing, and it tested out in the water, or on the water, uh, let me know, but for now, we're gonna go ahead and say thank you guys very much for watching, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.